like to do a whole classical class, and also so you can understand why most people will not be able to do a classical hence we have the other book. Okay. So, one hundred is your choice whether you do it feet down, feet up, legs and tabletop, Joseph Pilates ones, which is legs really low. So, just breathe and I will count to make sure you don't cheat. Remember, this is about stability of the chest, the back, the tummy, and everything. So if I have to start cueing that you are flapping, I'm going to really count, and you might end up doing 200. So are we ready? Off we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And give your knees a hug. And there's no time to rest because it's classical. Straighten your legs. Send your arms above your head. Have a big stretch. So from here, you can either have your legs together, pointed or flexed. Take a breath in, arms up towards the ceiling, chin to chest, roll up. <laughs> and then into spine stretch. So reach those arms forward towards the wall behind your belly button towards uh, the wall. Did I say arms in front of you? Good. Grow nice and tall. Point. Tuck your tailbone under and then to roll back again. As you roll back, trying to get your rib cage as close to your hips and then reach those arms away. So traditionally the rib cage pops, I quite like it because it's a nice big stretch, but you can also really focus on pulling the ribs down, which will make your arms come up a little bit higher. So reach your arms up towards the ceiling, inhale, chin to chest, exhale. Coming up, well done, good. And then have a stretch, flex in those feet, reach the arms in front of you. Belly button to the wall behind you. Oh, grow nice and tall. And then last one, roll down, stay down. Have your hands next to your side. So bend your legs, feet flat on the floor. Bring yourself into a double knee fold, legs into tabletop. Straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. And I'm just checking you've got nothing under your head. Good, so roll over. Remember you can do knickers on, knickers off, whichever variation you want. So little breath in to drop the legs ever so slightly and then exhale, legs go over the head towards the floor behind you, but not to the floor, feet on the floor. Good. Well done. Hold it there. I want to get there, mind your legs. <laughs> Hold it there. Go on, Emma, stretch those knees. So flex your feet as much as you can, really stretch out through your knees and start to bring yourself down as slow as you can, keeping your feet uh, flexed. Oh. Once you get there, stop, keep those legs high. We're going to do another one. Take the legs over, straighten the knees, so now we're going to open. Flex the feet, open the knees, shoulder width apart, and flex. Go on, stretch your knees up. Roll down, slow as you can with control. When you get to the bottom, don't take the legs down, you want to keep them up. So, hold them there, keep them flexed, wide, flexed, wide, flexed, flexed. And now roll over. And then bring them together, points. Good. Finish with your legs up in the air. Yeah. So roll down, point to your toes as you roll down, and hold it there, keep the legs up. Okay. Take your right leg, we're going to do leg circles, so take right leg down towards the floor, straight leg, take it to the corner of the mat, straight leg, flex the foot, and you're going to push your right leg down into the floor, so flex that one. Hands up towards the ceiling, pointing your toes. Ceiling is there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't apologise, it always happens. So, I won't 
encouraging they need just do two circles in each direction. You have the choice of Joseph Pilates, really dynamic one, or nice and stable one. Good. And then you can switch legs. So notice if the one side feels a little bit easier than the other side. Oops. Anybody got a plunk? I heard a little. And then give your knees a hug if you need to. I'll be one of them. You know, it's a shape. <laughs> so straighten your arms and your legs, roll up into excuse me, into seated. And then bring your bodies to the front of your mat and prepare for rolling like a ball. So whether you choose to roll back or not, maybe you just want to do the balance. But remember, no head flinging, no leg flinging. So bring your legs in, nice little ball. You can have the arms out to the side. You can have the ankles. So bring your feet off the floor and balance. Relax your shoulders. Bring your chin into your chest, really round your spine. The more you round your spine, the easier you're going to roll. Take a breath in. As you exhale, use that belly button to draw towards your spine and bring yourself into rolling like a ball. And just do two or three. Enjoy the massage of your spine. When you finish, you want to finish with the feet off of the floor. So maintain your balance. So hold it there, everyone. Good, good, good. <laughs> so hold it there. You are going to take your left, your hands into your left knee and straighten your right leg. Now with grace and control, this forward, say you're going to roll down onto your back. Guess what we're ready for? <laughs> Little leg stretch. There we go. So just do six all together, head up or down, depending on you. You can have your arms um, today's method there, or you can roll them in. You want to just make sure that that knee that you put in is not being pulled out to the side. So remember, knee in line with the shoulder. Six on each side or six? Six together. together. We've still got a long way to go. <laughs> Try not to kill you. Do you need a rest before we do double legs or are you ready to crack in with that one? Good. So keep your knees in. You can have your head up or down with this, but if you have your head down, make sure the legs are high. Okay? So come into curl up. If you're coming into curl up, take a breath in. Now start to straighten your legs out and then squeeze into your legs. Breathe out, out, out. Curl up a little bit higher. There we go. And then bring your knees in. Have a great knees. And then breathe out. Squeeze in. So I should be able to Lord, open your legs. And then bring your knees in. Oh, nice. Good. So give yourself a little rock. We're going to come into seated position. We're going to come into seated position. <laughs> so we're going to do spine stretch. You can sit on a block if your hamstrings are really tight or not, if you want to work a little bit more on the hamstrings. So you can have feet hip width apart or feet together, or you can have them mat width apart. So entirely up to you. If you find that sitting even on a block or with flex feet is really pulling on the back of your legs and causing your posture to be affected, point the toes. Okay, because we want to focus more on the spine. So hands out to the front of you. Take a deep breath in. Chin to chest, above the collarbones, then below the collarbones, ears next to the arm, and then start to reach forward towards me. So when you come to this position, just draw your attention to your shoulders. Can you really reach the left shoulder girdle, get those shoulder blades gliding over your rib cage? Good. Pull that belly button to the wall behind you, chin down. And then shoulder blades into your back pocket, stack your spine up into standing, bottom to top. A little shaky can be. We'll do one more. So arms out, breath in, chin to chest, really rounding through the neck, feel it into the neck. And then when you can't go anymore, reach forward, keep the arms high. Good, nice lady. Let's focus on those legs for a little bit. So really start to uh, flex through those feet. Come on, send your heels 
Have you curled your toes back a bit more? And then rest. Come into the wall behind you. Good. Feeling that? Yeah. Shoulders into your back pockets. Grow nice and tall. And give it a shot. Oh. You're getting warmer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to come off of the blocks. Make sure they're not behind you. And you're going to bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Open leg rocker or open leg rocker prep. Your choice. So you're going to have your knees up or your feet up the floor, and this time you're holding the outside of the ankles. So if you have tight hamstrings outside, I'll uh, use on the inside, switch your arms other way. Rotating. So we don't want those hips to come off the floor. Good. 
and then come back up and centre. So we're just going to do one more each side, but we're going to speed it up. So we're going to breathe in, long exhale, hip bones come up, rotate, inhale, and then the exhale. Watch those sitting bones. So your left sitting bones come up, bring yourself to centre, oh, and relax. So from here we're going to roll onto the front. So you've all had a peek, -pee, so you should be fine. Take all your blocks away. So variations, you can just do the swan crack where you just come up. You can do the drop and catch, drop and catch. <laughs> or you can do the full swan if you want to, and you can do the arms there or the arms there. So if you're not sure, you can just um, do a normal swan crack. So legs widely turn out. Hands are under your shoulders, elbows are pulled right down to your waist. <laughs> Don't ever apologize. Good. So from here, belly buttons in without squeezing your bum. cheeks, your legs and your thighs and start to push the floor away from you without your shoulders cramped up around your neck. Lift your body more. And then take yourself down. So that's your first one. If you want to take it up into the next one for your drop and catch, so belly button, lift your back, head, start to push the floor away to bring it up. And then check, and your shoulders pound up. So if you want to do your drop and catch, look up, find the spots on the floor, on the ceiling, keep looking at that, and then you're going to take your arms away and look in the back. You've got to keep that bum fired up, otherwise you parachute. Good. So ideally, when you drop and catch, because your bums are so switched on, the head, think of a seesaw, the head should go down and then it should come up again. So just do one more. So when you've got to really keep that bump switch on. <laughs> there, and then put your hands back. So do one rock and then put your hands back. Yeah? There, there we go. <laughs> okay, just need to keep the head up. So, from here, we're going to just, there's three front line stuff. So I'm just going to give you a rest on the back. Just take yourself into a cat. Is it a cat or a child? Just stretch it off for a moment. And then come back onto your front. We're going to do single leg kicks. So I'm going to take you through with the head down, just so you can focus on your hips, your glutes, and all of that, rather than sinking into your shoulders and that kind of stuff. So forehead is on your hands, and relax the chest. So your shoulders should be relaxed where they are. Now, there's a different uh, options here for you. Depending on how your hips feel, you can either have your legs wide or you can have your legs together. So that is entirely up to you. From here, you're going to squeeze your bum cheeks and lengthen your legs away so that they come off the floor. Now, if you find that it's too much for you, provided you're engaging your bum, your thighs, your calves, the legs don't necessarily have to lift. Okay, you just want to have that connection. So bring your left heel towards your bum, lift the left knee high towards the ceiling, and then take the left leg back down to starting position and change sides. So remember, you are trying to keep those hips connected to the floor the whole time. So be aware of maybe your bum trying to pop up towards the ceiling. And then also notice, have you got any tension in your hands, your neck, your shoulders? So when you finish on the right side, relax. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yes, folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> double leg kicks. Double leg uh, kicks. So having the hands in the small of your back. If you can't reach there, you can have the hands there. And just relax your elbows down towards the floor. Yeah, it's going to depend on your shoulder flexibility if you can do that or not. Um, again, legs wide or close, your choice. So, belly button in. Just draw the shoulders towards your hip, allow your head to float up, 
squeeze your bum, lengthen your legs away from you. Now bring your heels towards your bum, both of them, and then reach the legs towards the wall and then try and pull your hands right up over your bum as you lift your body higher. Chins can be down or up. So yes, so from there when you straighten the legs, draw them straight in and then bring the body up. Bring it up, bring it up. Good, so really reach deep in and then take it back. Good, and then relax. So with that one, if you want to allow people to have a rest in between each one, they can bring the head down or they can keep the head up the whole time to make it harder, okay? But like I said, his was a lot more dynamic. So, a uh, child, yeah, here we go. Uh, child the cat, and then bring yourself into seated position. Uh, so we're going to do neck pull. You have the option of doing half the neck pull, in which case you can sit on the block. If you're going to try the full neck pull, um, and I will demonstrate this one, um, then don't sit on the block. Okay. So for your um, prep, Feet are flex again, whether you have legs together or apart, entirely up to you. Nice and tall, breathe in. And then come down, head to knee, elbows wide, push the head up. That one. And then for those that want to do the full one, back, roll down, and then come. Okay. So it's your choice whether you want to do the prep or not. So remember, when you're doing the back part, your gaze will go up. It's not because your head is moving, it's just the whole spine is moving backwards. So you're quite a big hip hinge with this one. So ready, elbows in your peripheral vision, grow nice and tall, so center will stone up a little bit more. Good, so breath in, hinge back. For those of you that are going to do the full one, you roll back, roll back up. The rest of you come forward, head to knees, elbows are towards the floor, and then widen the elbows, and then push your head up into your hands, and then come back up into seated. Do you want to do that, sir? Feel that? choice to all know what I'm talking about with that one. Mm -hmm. You have the choice of doing that or you can do normal scissors, you can do single leg stretch or you can even do crisscross and then spine curls for the first part. So off you go. Or you can do the full one as well. Which one? Yeah. Stretch off those hamstrings so we want those legs as straight as you can get. Wendy, uh, bring this leg right down. And then it's into single leg stretch, which is that one. Or you can do crisscross, which is the hands a little bit more abdominal with that one. So you can mix and match it. Trying to stretch 
much off without moving your head. So we're trying not to get those legs moving. So be very conscious of the sitting bones. Are the sitting bones in the same place? We're going to take the arms out of it. We're going to have the hands across the chest. Big, nice arm one. So <laughs> we're going to take a breath in. Start rotating to your left side. And then notice the legs. So does it feel like your legs are trying to shift open? Maybe you're coming off of your right sitting bone. Inhale back to center, breathe out. And then inhale to your right side. Remember your neck is an extension of your spine. So using your neck is well sometimes we get a bit protective. So hold it there. And then come back to centre. Oh, give your legs a shake, relax. And then jackknife. So you can do jackknife or knickers on, knickers off again. Does everyone remember the jackknife where you keep the legs up and you try and keep them as high as you can as you bring yourself down? Do you remember that one? Yeah, the legs up. Yeah. Or you can just do knickers on, knickers off. Make sure you've got nothing behind your legs. If you want to, yeah. You do it, yeah. So from there, get your legs right up, 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 squeeze, 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 squeeze. And now come down, trying to keep them that high all the way down. Or oh, feel those arms. Good, good, good. Oh, and relax. So this is where it starts getting hard now. So you should be nice and warm. Can you feel how yeah. challenging it is? Yeah. This is why it was a full body workout for us. So we're going to do side kick nearly. It's not nearly. Side kick, so other side. We're going to do three on each side. So your choice whether you want to be down or up. Bottom leg can be straight or bent depending on how hard you want to make it. Reach the top leg towards me. So always think of trying to pull out of the hip. Top shoulders above the bottom shoulders and lengthen your spine, especially if you've got your head down. There's a tendency to have that head slightly forward. So just lift that chin a little bit. Good. So point your toes, bring the leg forward as much as you can. Go on, stretch your knees out. And then flex, drive the leg to the back. You start taking to the back, squeeze as hard as you can and take that leg as far back as you can so we can have a little stretch. And then point, bring it forward. And then flex. So you might be a little bit wobbly, that doesn't matter. It's up to you to try and control that. But again, we sat like this all the time, so we want to try and stretch that off. So challenge yourself, how far back can you take it? Point forward, flex back. So remember we're talking about bioarticulated muscles. If you're flexing, trying to come up, you're not going to get as far out. And then once that leg comes in, roll over and do six on the other side. Maybe try a different variation. Once you finish the one you're on, you can relax. And then we're going to come on to scissors. Mm -hmm. back. So you can use, uh, for those of you that like to have little cushions in your lower back, so you can have that. Uh, you can start in this position so that you can use your arms. Remember, if you really tighten the legs, it's okay to bend them. And then bring yourself back. Or you can just have the hands next to you. Okay. Whichever variation you like. So legs and tabletop. 
bring your head to curl up and now straighten your legs and bring yourself into your teaser. Once you are up, you can either stretch the arms forward, you can try and bring your body a little bit more forward. And then bend your legs, control it as you bend yourself. <laughs> back down into your backs, back down onto your backs, do another one. So remember, ideally with the teasers, you want to take your legs out and the body comes up. So be very aware of this dipping of the legs to use momentum to bring it up. So it's easier to take the legs a little bit lower and work from there. challenging as well because they are quite squishy. And then have a little baby pose. Oh, oh. Oh. The face thing is right. When I was doing the face 
photos with us, it was really hard because we had a black background. But the, the mat was underneath us, so of course. <laughs> there are some of our techniques, not brilliant, because I'm doing this on my feet. <laughs> I was like, I spent about five times, I was like, no, I'm taking it, because I, as soon as I get there, I'm like, no, I'm thinking. <laughs> So, we're going to come into back leg pull now. So, uh, variation, you can have the legs bent, and I have hands wide. So, you can have that one, you can have legs there, and lift, you can point, and then if anybody wants to do a leg lift, you can do the leg lift. But if you think of like the hip twist, where you have to have push out of the chest, go with those arms high. Yeah, you can do the leg lift there. How does that feel on your hands in that position? Yes. I have my hands tight my shoulders. So if you have your hands sideways. One side you can lift that leg quite easily and kick in the other side. I was like, Ooh. And legs. Oh. Give your knees a little bit of a hug. We're going to come into boomerang for now. <laughs> last seven then. Last seven. Oh yeah, we're not doing crabs, so here's six. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I like this one. So, uh, top foot on the floor, knee pointing up towards the ceiling. So if you bring your top foot, then really face it towards me. From there, if you think of where your hand, your foot is, your hand is in a line with that, but you need to have it quite far so that you've got somewhere to go. Top hand is pushing the knee out. So, this leg doesn't actually do much. All your effort is in the top of, so you're going to, and these paint max slip as well, so just a caution. You're going to lift up and then straighten it. Sometimes you get up and you get stuck and then you just have to 
shuffle. Make sure your arm's quite far so that when you push, you've got space there as well. You're going to push down on the bottom uh, top foot, lift, and then push towards your shoulder. Where do you feel that? There we go. And then down. Good. Good. That one's a little bit of a, um, a brain thing because when you come up into a plank, your body just wants to go, but it's to get up and then move it. So that top foot has to push down to lift the body first. And then you can think of straighten the leg to push the shoulder over there. But often the body just wants to go straight into the plank. Um, oh, seal. I don't know, right next. Come on. So, left leg over right. So if your legs are very heavy and you need a little bit of help, you can bend and lift. Or lift. Okay. Hands into the floor. Now get some momentum to bring you over onto your back. Into your roller position. Switch your legs, point those toes and straighten those knees. Now, as you come down, keep your chin tucked in and you're going to use a little bit of momentum to bring you into a teaser. Hold at the top. Balance. Take your arms behind you, open up your chest. Feet down, head to knees. Take your arms round and give yourself a stretch. So one more on the other side. The right and left of you. Off you go. Switch round. And then as you come down, chin to chest, teaser. Balance. Take your arms behind the back. Stretch it open if you can. Otherwise, you just simply have the arms there. Head to knee. Arms round to the side. Good. Oh. Bring it in there. Control balance. So 
Get into your rollover however you need to get into a rollover. So whether that's jackknife or proper rollover, your choice. So now, ideally the feet want to go towards the floor, but if you've got tight hamstrings, tight back, that's going to make a difference. But make sure your weight is across the shoulders, not your head or your neck. You do not want your weight in that place. You're going to take your arms out towards the side, towards your feet. And then you take one foot towards your feet and hold them to the toes. Now, whichever one you're not holding, straighten that leg up as much as you can. Really squeeze the glute to help. And what you're trying to do is not roll back over. So there's your control balance. And then switch legs. Really try and straighten those legs. Oh, I'm going to straighten that one. Um, And then when your leg comes back down, roll down with control. With straight legs, roll them down. Good. Hard, yeah. So, uh, come on to all fours. Into stand position. End of your mats. If you have got a pick that portion, then you stretch. Um, so we're going to do the roll down push up part. And, uh, don't forget you can do the push up from your knees if you want to, or just walk out into a plank and then come back up. So arms up towards the ceiling, really reach. You can do a last one. Oh, you're not there, <laughs> So ready? Breath in. Chuck to chest, keep those arms glued next to your ears as you roll down, all the way down. Hands towards the floor if you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. With as much stability in your pelvis, bring yourself into a plank position. And then knees if you want knees. If you're not doing the push-up, you can start to take yourself out. If you're going to do the push-up part, just try and cheat a little bit and keep the bum higher just so we're not sinking to the back. Into your pike position, your down dog, and then walk your hands back to your feet. With upwards in your hips. Keeping the arms next to your ears as you start to roll up with the breath out. Next to the ears, next to the ears, 